Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. So today we are going to be revising financial maths. This is gonna be mainly just past paper, uh, past paper questions that we, we have, uh, that we have adapted from the past papers that we are getting out there to try and show how all of these concepts of financial maths come together and how you can then tackle them based on whatever the question is asking you. So for now, let's just map out everything that financial maths is all about and then do the questions together. So remember that with financial maths, we have uh, what we call the future value, which has to do with the sinking fund and it also has to do with annuities, right? So remember annuities, this will be the monthly payment that you make on a regular basis. Or rather, let's not call it monthly. Let's say it is a regular payment that a person makes. Because at times it can be quarterly, at times it can be semi-annually. Some people make payments that way. And then also with the present value, this will be something you have now which is a bond repayment because when you go to get a bond, you don't have any money. The bank is the one that gives you everything and also a loan, which means you don't have anything at that time and you are getting money in order to make it, um, to make it zero at the end, like your balance. Now, the following formula is used to calculate the future value annuity. Remember, it's F. Some people prefer using FV. Really, it's entirely up to you. As long as the F is there, what you add next to it does not really matter. And then it's X, which this we know is our monthly payment, or that is the amount we pay on regular intervals. And N will be the number of payments. Number of payments because it's not always in years not always in years, right? Because it can be at times months, it can be quarters, it can be half yearly. And then the last thing will be the interest rate as a decimal. So if I give you 20%, you know this is the same as 0, 0,2, and then you will divide it by the compounding period at that particular time. Now, just a question for us to try and look at here. So they say on 30 June, now this is very important because this is what is going to assist us in trying to get how many years or how many months this investment, if it is an investment, was. And, then, and at the end of each month thereafter, right? So 30 June, that's month end. So meaning month end of July, month end of August, month end of September like that. As if deposited 2.5 into a bank account that pays an interest at 6% uh, per annum compounded monthly. Now he wants to deposit this until 31 May 2018. So you can see that from 2013 to 2018, this is five years. And also it makes sense that it's five years because it's from June to May. That makes it five years, the end of May, by the way, that is. So um, if you look at the end of June, that will cover the actual five years. That extra month is for when the, uh, the money is still getting some interest for one last month. Now calculate how much money Asif will have in this account immediately after depositing on 31 May 2018. Now, let's try and talk about this a bit. Asif wants to open uh, this account, right? Month end of June decides to say, I'm going to pay out 2.5. And then at the end of every month thereafter, I then will add another 2.5, 2.5 on a monthly basis. And I'm starting this 30, uh, 30 June to 31 May. So it means from 31 May to 30 June, right, there will be one more month of it having to mature in that particular bank. So that's what makes it five years instead of maybe four years and 11 months, because someone might say that. Then the other thing is, the reason why we are not adding or subtracting number of months or anything like that, it's because... If Asif had made a payment beginning of the month, and then month end, and then month end, so it would, that would mean the first month Asif would have made two payments 
into this particular savings account. But that was not the case. It was month end, then month end, then month end. So that's how I want you guys to please make sure that you think about this. So let's just write down our data and see how we're going to solve this. So with our data, we know that F is something that we need. That's how much ASIF will have at the end of uh, the duration, which is 60 months. And it is 2.5 that is being paid into this investment. 5 multiplied by 12 because it is on a monthly basis. And then the interest that we are given is 6%. Uh, compounded monthly, which makes it 0 0.06 over 12. Now we know as soon as we have this, I'm going to say f is equals to x into 1 plus i to the exponent of n minus 1, all divided by i, right? If you are not sure, always go back to the, uh, to the formula that you, you have in the information sheet in order to know what is in the formula. Uh, supposed to be. Then this is 2.5 that I have there into 1 plus 0, 0,06 divided by 12, all raised to an exponent of 60, then minus 1. All of this is divided by 0, 0,06 over 12, and then you go straight to your calculate. Don't even need to crack your brain with trying to solve that manually. So this is 2.5, open bracket, another bracket, 1 plus 0, 0.06 over 12, all raised to the exponent of 60, minus 1, close the bracket, over another fraction, which is 0, 0.06 divided, 0, 0.06 divided by 12, and this will give me that much. So I still fully have 174,425. So this is 174,425. And how many cents? And eight cents, because we're gonna round this off to two decimal places. Therefore, Asif will have, so you will need to make a conclusion, right? 174425,08 in his account after the five years. So you can always include that part there at the end, depending on what they wanted you to do. So you always need to try and make a conclusion from what you have calculated. Because at times the calculation is not so clear on what is it that the person is trying to do. So I hope that just refreshes a bit of memory. I want us to take a quick ad break. When we come back, we're then gonna do more of these questions using the uh, future value formula. Please stay tuned, I'll be back just now. Mm -hmm.